Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to adjust a recipe using Google Sheets because sometimes you want to make more than the recipe is for and sometimes you want to make less. So I'm first going to open up uh, my recipe with this link in a new tab by um, pressing the middle button often works and then I'm going to open up the Google Sheet by clicking under your work. And now to make it easier for me to copy things over from the recipe I'm going to smash the recipe across this side of my screen and the Google Sheet all along this side of my screen. And that will work a little bit different depending on what kind of computer you have. You might have to adjust the windows yourself. But now I can conveniently look at my recipe and enter it into my sheet. So the volume measure is going to be two and a half cups. So I'm going to change that into a decimal which is two and a half is equivalent to 2.5 and then the units are going to be cups. So two and a half cups I have that right there. Now I am going to look at salt. One teaspoon. Sugar. One teaspoon. Yeast. Ooh, two and one fourth which is 2.25 in decimals teaspoon and warm water um, since right now it's kind of springtime I think we're going to go with that uh, 7 over 8 which here's a cool trick you can press equals and 7 over 8 and it'll convert it to a decimal for you just like that it's pretty neat and that's cups Alright, now this recipe also gives me mass measurements, so I like those. So I'm going to put 298. So if you happen to have a handy kitchen scale, you could use mash measurements. Uh, so that's 298 grams. Now it doesn't give these because they're kind of small. Yeast would be 7 grams. And water is, uh, let's go for that lower end, so 198. Cool. Oh, it's looking pretty good. So, uh, now boiling water eh, one cup or 227 grams but don't use weight for that one it doesn't really matter that much two tablespoons is a big T and then uh, this is just sprinkle it on you don't need a precise measurement for that and three tablespoons. Oh uh, yeah, that's gonna be really yummy. All that butter. Great. So now I have my um, measurements all here. Now watch how we can multiply them. So let's say this recipe says it makes eight pretzels. Now these pretzels are so yummy you're probably gonna want more than eight pretzels. I made only eight pretzels when I made it in my video and guess what? I was like Oh, I wish I had more pretzels. Now maybe you don't need more pretzels, but you might want more pretzels. So let's say we want 16 pretzels, which 16 is 2 times 8. So um, now I'm going to make in my spreadsheet a new category over here. So I have some nice new columns I've just named here, which are going to help me to um, calculate how much I should use of each of these ingredients. So here where I say double volume, you can actually make Google Sheets calculate all this for you. So you don't have to use a calculator or your head, though it's good practice with math facts if you use your head. But if you're lazy, here's how you can do it. You can press click double click into the cell where you see the cursor then press the equals key this is going to make it calculate whenever you put the equals key first Google Sheets is going to calculate for you now we go back and we click where it says volume measure and now we're going to uh, say multiplied by 2 now the way to do that is 
the little star key, which is on the eight key on your keyboard. So if you look at your keyboard and you see the little star key on eight, you hold down the shift key and while you're holding down the shift key, you press the number eight on your keyboard. I'm just gonna make that little asterisk or star appear, which is multiplication for computers. Now we're gonna press two. So that's C3 times two. So it's gonna multiply the value of C3 times two. Great, so, and it has calculated correctly. 2.5 times two equals five. Now let's do that again on this cell just to remember how to do it. We press equals, we click the cell we want to multiply, which in this case is number one, this one in C4, just like Battleship. So now C4 appears there, and we hold down the shift key and press this little star on the eight, which gives us that little star. And which is multiplication for the computer, and then we're going to say times two, and we press enter. Wonderful. But here's a shortcut. Watch what happens if I see how that little X appears as I hover over the dot. I'm going to um, now hover over that little dot, click and drag, and look at this. 1 times 2 is 2, 2 in 1 fourth, 2.25, times 2 is 4.5, and that little weird number, uh, which I believe that was 7 eighths, um, 8.875 times 2 is 1.75, which is 1 in 3 fourths. So sometimes when you multiply it, the measurements get a little bit easier on you. Great, and let's see what happens if I continue Actually, let's look and see in the cells. So right up here, you can actually see what each cell is doing. So see, this one is doing C5, which is this, times two. This one is doing C6, times two. This one is doing C7, times two. So when you drag that down, it predicts, um, it moves it down and predicts which column you're trying to use. So let's continue that and see how it works. All the way down here. Ah, well, messed up my formatting on these, but that's no bother. Uh, I can just click there and press delete. And, yep, it multiplied those correctly too. Now this one was not a number, so it has an error. I'll just delete that because we don't need that. And we can use the same process. Uh, here, actually, the units are all the same, so I just press equals. I press right there on units, and I press enter. And again, I hold my mouse over that corner until I see the plus sign and then I drag it all the way down. And now it's copied over that col column to here. And I can do the same thing for mass as I did for volume. I click there, press equals, press the one in line with it, hold down the shift key, press the eight and star key, which gives me the star when I'm holding down the shift key, and then I put two. And now I have a bigger mass, double the original mass. So that's how you can quickly scale a recipe. So then you could print this sheet off or copy down all the values they have in this column and you would have the doubled recipe. So hopefully this has been helpful to learn how to use Google Sheets with your cooking to scale a recipe to make it bigger or smaller than the original recipe. You can of course use multiplication to make it bigger and division to make it smaller.